Hey, travelers. Auf Wiedersehen. No, that's goodbye. I feel like there's something different about you this week. Is there? Yeah. Did you get a haircut? Yeah. Shave the beard, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello, mein Freunde. Yeah? Got nothing? No. Hello, I, my friends. Mir beer bitten. <laughs> bitten? No, bitter. Bitter. Yeah. No one ever corrected me when I was there that they knew what I was. Yeah, well, they, they probably knew you were from the U.S., they too. They looked at me, and they're like, yeah. This. Yeah, he's from America. The, the first giveaway was I was fat. Yeah. There's like there's like one fat dude in all of Germany. Yeah. Well, no, there's there's a few. They're just, you know. I remember watching a documentary in England on the, the fattest man in England, and like he could still walk. And I was like, wow. Wow. We got some That's, guys here yeah, that we, haven't we got, we got some competition for that. <laughs> yeah. This guy can still walk. How fat are you? I mean. Right. <laughs> Anywho, that's not what we're here to talk about. Yeah, so I promised you last week that we were going to do an Oktoberfest episode, maybe more than one. And, of course, I chose the hottest day of the freaking week to put on my Lederhosen. Your leather pants. Which, for yeah, for those of you who don't know what Lederhosen in German means, it translates to leather pants. See, that And they certainly are. In Troy's language, that translates to uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and it's hot. <laughs> I had to have my daughter tie my shoes. <laughs> I, I'd have to do that for my dad as well, but it's just because he's old and crippled. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't. I, I tell you what, I hope to get to uh, to a ripe old age where those some of those German guys are, if they can still put their lederhosen on. I watched a I watched an interview with a guy that was like 80, but he looked like he was 45 in Germany. Yeah. And they're like, "What was your secret?" And he's like, "He would go to the bar and have a grapefruit shandy every day." That sounds like a great time. Just take, he's like, oh, the grapefruit's good for your skin. So he goes and has a couple beers with grapefruit in it. Yeah. Well, How about can't argue that? with that logic. <laughs> no. So this this first one is from uh, Revolution in Chicago. Communist-owned brewery in Chicago. Yeah. 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 So okay. we've, we've actually been to one of the locations. I've been to that location several times. Yeah. yeah. Great food. Their food good, is fantastic. Great beer. Yeah. Food, food is on point. The beer is on point. What more do you need? Right. Oktoberfest is kind of a simple but yet fun style of beer. I would say it's when it, it's the uniting craft beer style because it's a simple, it's a sweet beer, it's gentle, so my dad, your mom can drink it. But it's also like there's a ton of history there, and there is some nuances to keep beer nerds like us right. coming right. back as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's not just something that, that happened this out, is of, the, out of nowhere. Yeah, this is the bridge. Yeah. Of craft beer, if you will. So we'll get into a little of the history, but we're going to try one beer first. Yeah, so I'm, this I'm, has got a nice coppery, I'm a little thirsty. Typical Oktoberfest color to it. It's got that sweet malty smell. Mm, mm-hmm. It smells like Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah. And that's a very distinct beer smell. It's very light, carbony, a little toasted, mostly sweet though. Super easy on the palate. Goes yeah. down real smooth. Mm. It tastes like beer with a hint of like caramely sweetness. Yeah. But like we, we talked about this, old beer can also taste caramely, but that's like not good caramel. Yeah, that's that's almost uh almost burnt funky close, caramel. Close to burnt caramel. Yeah, this yeah. is like caramel that you you buy at the store that's fresh and right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the stuff that you see at the cash register that you're like, oh, what's that? Do caramel? I need do I need caramel? What's the name yeah, of that caramel producer do. up by uh, Cumberland up in your wife's neck of the woods there? Sugar Shack. The the maple sugar place. Yeah, they also make caramel. Oh, they make uh, maple caramel. No, they just make regular caramel. Wow, it's just like the best caramel I've ever had though. I it's guess like Sugar I, Shack. I guess I've or, never had any. Yeah, it's right next over to there by uh, Larry's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I know I know where it is. I guess I just never knew they made caramel. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Now I have to stop. Fantastic. Huh. I I think that was just a... Uh, we even have appropriate glasses, Lazy Monk Oktoberfest glasses. Yeah. Yeah, I had to dig those out. Yeah. I was lucky to have I have them. a 2016. What year is yours? I don't know. Is it labeled? Nope. Oh, that's the one I did then. I didn't, I, she was like, I want the 2016, just take off the year. So I took it off the year in Photoshop, because that's about my, as much Photoshop as I can do. That, that's your claim to I'm fame. Like, I, can, I can take that <laughs> off for you. <laughs> that's right. You can hire Troy for all of your Photoshop needs. If you have really basic, almost ridiculously simple Photoshop work that needs to be done. <clears throat> you're, you're the guy. I'm your guy. 
Anything above and beyond that? Not not so much. Don't huh? even. The so secret the, is learning how to pour with one hand here. Yeah, it is. While holding a microphone? Yeah. I've got really long arms, but not quite that long. Yeah. So I would say overall that Revolution Oktoberfest, to kind of just sum that up before we move on to the next one, on point. On point. A bit more American, because my experience is like more traditional European Oktoberfests are often lighter in the body, a little more blonde color as opposed to the amber golden. Probably not as malty as, and, and that's probably one of the things that we've gotten used to here. More is uh, well, yeah, we're, we're a country of excess, you know. You like hops? We'll put some hops in there. We'll put a we'll put a whole damn truckload like of hops coffee? in there. You like coffee? Oh, we put that in your beer. <laughs> you, 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 like want, you want some malt? We'll give you malt, man. We're about Oktoberfest, yeah. If we triple the malt bill, you're damn right. Because this so, is uh, another very ambery one, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, this is darker than the other one. I think if you go with like the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest, that's a little bit more paler. This might be the most, if memory serves me correct, it might be the yep. most pale on the market, which is kind of fun in its own way. It's more of a fest beer. Right. Well, and that's Oliphant, because I don't remember Oliphant putting an Oktoberfest out. And yeah. maybe they have in the past. I just don't remember it. I feel like <clears throat> in, the, in the sales world of Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest was going really well, and then a couple of years there it didn't, and then people kind of quit making them because they just didn't have the the, right. the numbers to support it. Yep. And then everyone was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa what happened to all the Oktoberfest?" Like, well, no one bought it last year, and they're like, "Well, well, I'm sorry, we, we won't do we that need again because <laughs> they're back this again. year. Every brewery's making an Oktoberfest this and year." And so this is the first time that I can ever recall having an Oktoberfest from Olive. Yeah, Farm. exactly. And it's it's uh it's definitely darker. We have to also mention that the Oktoberfest from Revolution is called Oktoberfest, or is that October f- uh, Fist? October Fist? No, it's just fast. Never no, mind. it's just fast. I just saw the fist, and I. But it has it. the fist on it, and it's I like the uh, the fat guy with his eyes crossed below uh, the tuba. An easy another way to tell if you're drinking an Oktoberfest if you're at a store is if you look at both of those cans in particular, they got that blue and white theme going on. Yep. yep. Do you see a blue and white checker pattern themed? You're probably dealing with an Oktoberfest beer, if nothing right. else, at least a German beer of some sort, because that is the color of Bavaria, which is where Oktoberfest come from. Bavaria, yeah. yeah. They celebrated the, uh, I'm going to look this up. It was the marriage of King Ludwig. Oh, yeah. I'll get old Ludwig. Yeah, but not uh, the first, not the second. The yeah. second one was crazy. The second one was the, the spoiled child effect. That's right. Yeah. That's that's where the big princess castle came from. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, so King Ludwig and Princess Therese of Saxony. Oh, shit. Yeah. It was Saxony, an unusual that's... thing. They, they invited the public. Yeah. So the public didn't usually get to celebrate. So that was that was the big thing. And so they, they had a lot of beer. Uh, sh- long story short, they had a lot of beer, and it's been going on now for 200 and some years. Yeah, and Oktoberfest is also, it's uh, another name for an Oktoberfest is a Martzen, Mirzen. What's the correct way to pronounce it? Andy. Martzen. Whoever Andy is, he would correct me right now if he was um, here. Yeah, he's got a funky way of saying it, but. <sighs> he says it in like the most, he's like the guy that says cheers after you say it. He's like, okay, bye Andy, cheers. What are you British? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. It's Martzen. An American, I got a dumb American mouth. It's a Martin. At least you can admit it. Uh, this one's got a, a little different taste to it. Yeah, this one definitely, I would say, is more toasty as opposed to caramely. Right. So the last one was pure. I, it was it was like this nice high sweet note. Yep. Kind of crescendoed in this quick but yet tasty sweet. Where this one is more of a, a lingering roast. A little sweet in the beginning, mm-hmm. but but it, it fades quickly. Right at the tip of your tongue there, and then it, the rest of it's just like this almost like, like a sweet roasted flavor. Yeah. As opposed to caramely sweet, I would say. We're really getting like hair splitting on our... But it's it's a... Uh, I mean, and to be honest with you, you could try both of them and, and you would notice the difference immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah but they're, they're, both, they're both very good. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if I have a preference yet. I would say I would... You know what the beauty of Oktoberfest was? There was a German brewery in Pennsylvania, P- Penn Brewery. I'm pretty sure we had a beer or two on the yep. show here. Yep. And uh, my first Oktoberfest experience, I was like 21. I went to theirs. They gave you a milk jug. A gallon milk jug literally filled with Oktoberfest. And they're like, here you go. It was like 10 bucks. <laughs> so you get a gallon of Oktoberfest. And you're like, that's what you do. You just go get a milk jug and you drink it. And then you go get another milk jug. So, I don't know. You had more than one milk jug? I mean, come on. <laughs> 
I was 21. <laughs> I could do anything back then, <laughs> drinking wise, physically. Yeah, yeah. I was a wreck. Right. But uh, <laughs> so that hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I had more, but yet less hair then. How about that? Yeah. Huh. Weird sentence. Yeah. Jealous. <laughs> That being said, Oktoberfest, if you're doing it right, you're drinking a gallon at a time. You know? Well, I mean, when you look at the, the mugs that they're having at Oktoberfest in Germany, in, in Munich, those are some big mugs. Those are some, like, soul-crushing I, mugs. Uh, and, and maybe some of you can confirm or deny this that have been to Oktoberfest. I have not. Mm-hmm. I was uh, there the weekend before. <clears throat> that's probably less, you know. It was still I, crazy, I guess <clears throat> but, yeah, not, not, but not as bad. Not an onslaught. I hear... That they cram so many people in those tents that there are actually people urinating at the tables. Yep, because if you leave your table, you can't <clears> get beer. So right. You... However, for those of you that have ever worn lederhosen. <laughs> you don't have to pee in those, right? Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, they just take it away. They whisk it away. Huh. Right? Not uh, not for me. Maybe it's because I was born in America. Yeah, your American bladder is does not does not mesh. It's I like, guess, it's I like trying not. to use PC software on a Mac. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I was just always wondering how that works. Is, is there just people leaving with I pee mean, down the front of them? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe some of you can answer that. I don't know. Yeah. Or if it gets too graphic, I don't, cast, really, I I don't really care to know. I guess maybe I'll go experience it for myself someday. Yeah. I don't like crowds, generally speaking. So I think I would have a hard time. You know, I. As, as much as I love Oktoberfest. Right. I, I love the I idea don't, of it. I would just like to see it from a distance, I guess. I'd like to. I'd like to maybe like go there for an hour or two, just to be like, "Hey, okay, let's go back to your house and drink some Oktoberfest." Yeah, but <laughs> to, but to be in the humanity of it, probably. Yeah, not. I mean, ooh, that's all I can say is ooh. Yeah, I yeah. had a nice crack to it. <clears throat> I did. Good job. Yeah. Can already see this one's just a tad lighter. So this one's by Lucette. Lucette Brewing. I don't think they've ever made an Oktoberfest before, and if not, they have, not they most, that I can recall. Most certainly have never canned <clears throat> it, so it might have been a tap room only in previous years. And this one's called Toasted. Toasted. Yeah. What's ABV on this one? I guess they're all probably around five, five and a half. Uh, five and a half. Typically and speaking, five point seven. So right, you know, somewhere right around. Yeah, I would say five most <laughs> most Oktoberfest were five, and that was always considered more alcohol. But it, we always have to remember the Europeans drink drink a lot. They have drank a lot. They are drinking a lot now, but they also drink low ABV beers, and that was kind of a holdover from you know because beer saved the world, right? Because right. Water was not always safe for human consumption, but beer is always safe. So yep, beer used to be lower ABVs in England, like English English milds, German light beers, or their you know pilsners. So Oktoberfest was a five percenter, typically speaking, which is about two percent higher than I'd say than most German beers of the time, and that's a lot of rattlers, like we talked about earlier. So this used to get people nice and schlockered. Yeah, you know, it's not like they're running around drinking eight percent IPAs like we are most nights, or twelves like we do on this show. We <laughs> guys, it's barely how much alcohol? Is it? They say twelve, but there's probably more. Yeah, I think there's more. <laughs> Tastes like more. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't get this. Probably the least fragrant, fragrant of the three. Yeah. That or I'm just becoming desensitized to Oktoberfest smells. This one's got a little more hop presence than the... Uh, yeah, it's brighter. The yeah. hops, it's definitely the brightest. Not only in color, it's probably the, also the the foggiest of the three. Yep, yep. On Oktoberfest, it's usually pretty clear, but this one's a little on the foggier side. But also brighter in color. It's more opaque, I guess, would be the... Yeah, and, the, and really what you're getting on the tongue that lingers is that that brightness hop yeah presence it's, a, it's an oktoberfest with a little <clears throat> zip yeah yeah i kind of like that though well Gee. for the hop heads out there that that would be perfect and lucite has been doing a lot of hoppy beers lately so this yeah. is kind of in their wheelhouse i guess now um but this has actually been a very good lineup of three oktoberfests that are i mean they're all pretty similar in that they're oktoberfest but right and that's it's a style that doesn't vary it's widely as let's say a stout or an ipa would but uh, very different. You got the, the I would say the the revolution was pure head on caramel. Yep. So we got a little bit more toasted. Now we're getting a bit more bright, a little bit more hop zing to it. It's been uh, it's been an interesting uh, yeah, lineup it's actually for sure. Yeah. Fun. I think uh, maybe maybe one of these episodes before we get out of September, even though we're in August still, 
Um, before we get out of Oktoberfest season, maybe we'll go and see if we can find some actual like polyander and uh oh yeah get some actual germans some actual german uh, i got some Einder i can probably grab there you go yeah yeah and i always say another and, and one of the weirder oktoberfest too is always the summit one because that's like an eight percenter right yeah which i think we've done on there i didn't before. i didn't real. yeah i think so i didn't realize that the first time that i had it yeah no no one and does. it doesn't it doesn't go down like an eight percent and you're and you're probably thinking well what's what's three percent right <laughs> you're right well, Actually, three percent's a lot when you're not thinking about add it. Add five, three percent plus five. Right. <laughs> That's fifteen percent. Fifteen percent more. Alcohol. You can you can ask Andy sometime what he thinks about the Oktoberfest, and uh, and how hard it hits after you've had a few. I was there with him when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, the Oktoberfest. It's it's essentially just a big celebration that's been going on since 1810. So enjoy it. You know. And for those of you that were married in uh, September, enjoy that. You can you can drink all the Oktoberfest yeah, to celebrate your marriage. If you have an Oktoberfest theme wedding, like what are you doing? Yeah, I mean we got married in October, uh, so I got married. My aunt, it was it her, was over. We got her, we got married this month, August. What what uh, what beer is August? Uh, we we made an ESB for our wedding. Oh, very nice. Uh, we met in London, so we did an ESB for our wedding because I think like, well, we, yeah. And if, have it, people beer. have watched the show are like, oh, man, didn't I try making ESB for his wedding? That's uh, it's a pretty Troy thing to do. But don't knock ESBs. They're actually very good. I'll fight you. Especially the really, really good ones. I always joke I'm the number one consumer of ESBs in the city of Eau If you can find one. Yeah. Well, if there is one, I probably <laughs> bought three of the six packs. <laughs> They're like, wow, that case sold quick. No, he just sold three of them to me. Nope. <laughs> Troy bought them all. That's one guy. Yep. He really likes ESBs. Can't find them much anymore. No, no. It's, uh, everyone's Try to get Ryan to make one over at Brewer and Onyx for us. You're going to find a way to put sugar in it, and then they'll start making it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Especially just around here. Just drink an Oktoberfest. This is like the most dad thing you could do is drink Oktoberfest in the backyard and complain about things. <laughs> <laughs> now, if there were just some kids running in the front lawn that I could yell at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to watch you yell at them, too, guys. I feel like you'd be good at it. I think so. <laughs> I, I haven't yelled much, but when yeah. I do, this is honestly what Oktoberfest <clears throat> is: is grab one. They're not overly complicated beers. Find a yeah. guy and tell a joke. Yeah, yeah. We're Oktoberfesting pretty hard back here, especially you. Thank you. <laughs> you look like you look like a table mat right now. Like I'm gonna have a picnic on you. The uh, the very angry German lady that sh- sold me this shirt. If she wasn't angry, and I would not be happy. Yeah, I, if she was happy, I don't know that uh, I would I actually do. thought she was German. But. Uh, uh, she more or less called me fat, and I am. But uh, she's like, "Oh, <laughs> Max's mom did the same thing to me when I, the, I got off the plane in Germany." My best yeah. friend's Max, German. He's very German. Very yeah. German. His mom came running up to me, grabbed my shirt, and was like, "What's all this extra material hanging off the side? You got, we got because she bought me all a bunch of European clothes to wear. European yeah. cut. Yep. She just couldn't handle the American boxy of my Walmart wear. Can't blame her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we're gonna stop. <laughs> So, YouTube, make sure uh, we're actually getting very close to a thousand. So Just we're gonna we're gonna push Just real hard, it. get those subscribers to up to a thousand, so that way YouTube can change their standards you get when we get there. Great comedy of two fat guys sitting in the backyard drinking. That's right. Not many places. Not many places. Uh, I put on leader hosen for you. Exactly. I put on the leader hose and I need some subscribers. <laughs> uh, and then you know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that that good stuff. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next week, but I bet it'll be something good. And I doubt I'll have an out- outfit for There's it. There's a so. strong chance a pumpkin beer is going to be involved just because. Probably. Yeah. I'm really digging pumpkin beers this year. Oh, me too. I bought some Warlock the other day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got I've got some coming to me. So we'll, we'll do that too. A variety pack. Oh, a pumpkin? all pumpkin. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh. Where's that from? <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. Oh, I am so excited. Anyway, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. So, until next week. Prost. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.